that's where we're going to go with two and a half points spread. That's what's in pregame.com, RJ Bell. So I'll go first since I essentially won the competition for oh, no, the year. Um, I'm going to take the Patriots. If it was three, I would, I would actually pick a push. Uh, and here's why I'm going to take the Patriots. The Rams are the worst team in the NFL defending the run. So we're going to worry about Tom Brady. We're going to worry about Gronkowski. We're going to worry about Edelman. But I think that Michelle and White are going to be so important to this. And they will stop the rush from affecting Tom Brady. Because they're not going to be able to just pin their ears back and go for it. Uh, I think they're going to have to just be aware of the run. Because the run has played a large role for them. And even when they throw, they short throw very short passes. They're not going deep down the field. Not that Brady doesn't have a good arm. That's the effective way to do it. Precision passing. What they do is they kill you with paper cuts. It's hard to pick against the Patriots. I'm not going to sit here and say the Rams don't have a chance. But at two and a half, I like the Patriots winning this game by a field goal. I really do. I know that half point seems weird, but that's what I'm jumping on. Two and a half points. I'll take the Patriots. The over-under is 56 and a half. I think if the Patriots win this game, it's not going to be a really high-scoring game. So I'm going to go under 56 and a half, and I'm going to take the Patriots to give two and a half. Well, I, uh, I, this is going to be boring, I think. I think it's going to be a boring day of picks. Because particularly at two and a half, and even at three, you just, I, I knew when I just, I was trying to catch up with you when I went against the Patriots a couple of times, and I knew it wasn't smart. And now in particular, with what we've seen from this team, how can you go against them? Are they going to lose back-to-back -back Super Bowls to drop to five and four in Super Bowls overall? Are they gonna do that against a team that's just getting there? This Rams team, I believe, will win a Super Bowl. I just don't think it's gonna be this year. Uh, ultimately, Michael said it really well, and RJ Bell said it too, in terms of liking the over with rushing yards. They're gonna rush early, they're going to keep the ball out of the high-octane Rams offense's hands, and they're going to end up winning this game, as Damian Woody said, I think maybe even a little bit easier than we expect. Maybe a 10-point victory for the Patriots. They're just, there just seems something different about them. Tom Brady as underdog is a different and even more terrifying Tom Brady. And I'll tell you one thing. One thing I disagree about, uh, I will say, if Gronk were to not play or get hurt, that would make me nervous. I do think that changes this team. But considering how effective he was late in that game in meaningful spots on third down, I'm sorry, I hate it. I'm going with the Patriots minus two and a half. And over under 56 and a half? Uh, I'm going to go under. All right, Don? All right. You guys pretty much broke it down on why New England is going to win this game. So I got to come up with something a little bit more creative, and that is quarterback and coach, right? It's I don't know what Goff is going to become, but... I would bet he's not going to become Tom Brady. He's damn good, though. He's very good, though. But you're talking about the best that's ever played, and you've got a great coach who could be the next great coach going up against Belichick. Now, you have the same situation last year, neophyte coaching and a quarterback that was a backup and beat the Patriots. Is that going to happen a second consecutive year? I mean, look at the games that Tom Brady lost earlier in his career. I mean, Tom Coughlin was a legitimate head coach, right? Um, Eli had been in the league a while and had gone to the playoffs before. I just think the experience of the New England Patriots is huge. Plus, outside of Donald and um, Adama Katsu, which are great rushing guys, if they have to send more than four, that's when Brady's going to be able to pick, even this secondary apart. So I like the New England Patriots to win. I can't imagine five and four. Six and three just looks so much better in the Super Bowl. And I'm just going to just change it up. I'm going to go with the over. I don't like playing the under. It's terrible. It's, it's awful. It's boring. So I'll say there'll be a couple of fluke things that happen that'll actually push it to the uh, over. So I'm going to go over, and I'm going to go to win. All right. Let me get it from the whole crowd. Patriot, if you like the Patriots, yay. yay. And if you like the, uh, the Rams. Yay.